Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I am so excited to share with you one of my favorite quarterly lifestyle subscriptions. It is Hugo in a Box from Canada. I love this box so much and I love the two sisters that are behind it. They do such a fabulous job with all of their curations and usually they do some limited edition boxes in between the seasonal boxes so definitely be on the lookout for those. I believe what they have sent me for a review is their deluxe box because they have two different sizes. I think they call it small and large essentially. So there is the smaller box which is still only $74.99 Canadian which is like $55 US and they have worked out a great shipping rate, flat rate to the US. I think now it is around $16.95, which is actually pretty incredible when you consider the shipping rates these days. And then they have the larger box that's going to include seven to nine items. The smaller box is four to six items. So you get a little bit more Hugo, you get a little more of the goodies in this uh, larger box. And that is $114.99 Canadian, which right now, you know, always changes with the conversion rates. Right now is around $85 US plus again that shipping so you're getting it for just a little over a hundred dollars all the way to the US where I am located for example but I think it is well worth it they support Canadian makers and they really just do such a fabulous job of creating that sense of Huguet in your home with great lifestyle products I I really enjoy this box like I said it is definitely one of my absolute favorites and yours as well I know so look how gorgeous this is I love the sort of modern pine cone design that they have so we have our beautiful Huguet in a box label this lovely lavender colorway on the tissue paper and then of course I now have to destroy said tissue paper I also really appreciate that they do send these to me here in the States in a nice outer box so the nice pine cone box that everything arrives in comes in pretty good condition and I have a bunch of these and I use them for storage because they just stack so nicely so because I do like to reuse my um, packing materials when I'm sending out the mystery boxes to all of you so very happy that they are continuing to do that Ooh, we got some of their like chunky shred again I feel like this is like throwback so they have this really like even their shred is very huggy to me so all right you guys let me go ahead and show you what I opened up I kind of kind of messed it up a little bit but here is what we've got on the interior. So lovely things. Everything's kind of hidden. There's usually a lovely pine cone that they have uh, picked up in their forest wandering. Now my little bag of crunchies on the top, unfortunately, is a little bit crinkled. That's like one of those things that I never noticed before. And obviously um, I wouldn't notice if I was just a subscriber, but I always am looking at the packaging that things come in and I want to make sure it's not crinkled because I love to take photos of this box so you guys can really kind of see things up close over on my Instagram. Instagram account. So I'm going to pull that one out and find the little card that they usually have inside that tells us all about all of the items. So just to make sure we've got everything. So I first I see the uh, maker promo card, which is really nice. So some of the vendors in here will give ex extra promo codes. That's a nice little a bonus item um, and then it does say oh they're talking about the international Hugo day box which I think that might be happening really really soon so the ordering for that has already closed that was on February 3rd is that it already closed and I actually got this box maybe just before that but you know it usually takes me a week or two to get these these videos up sometimes these days it's more like two or three weeks um, but you can still get in on a quarterly box and if you are interested in getting in on the quarterly box I can get you 10% off it's Noel 10 is my code as always I'll put the link as well as that code in the description box below for you. So, okay. Then we got our recipe card. Now this looks delicious. Good food photography too, gals. I don't know which of the sisters did this, if it was Jill or Lisa, but doesn't that soup look amazing? It is a fragrant chickpea stew. Like I just love soups, especially this time of year. So that looks amazing. So I think that's really cool. And then we have our product card. So you can see in teeny tiny font, they are telling us all about the awesome items. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And then if you are a subscriber, where you're basically doing you know it's, you're automatically uh, signed up for the next box then you get an extra gift so I think it is definitely worth being a subscriber versus just doing one-time boxes on the other side we have a nice little note from Jill and Lisa and then of course they always give us a bullet point list of different ways to create a sense of Hugo in your life this is of course their winter box so we're getting it towards the end of winter it was released a little bit earlier so that they had some space between that and the International Hugo Day box um, but I you know sometimes it takes a little bit longer for things to get to me here in the States. 
It says, Happy New Year and welcome to your winter Huguet in a Box. It says, this box has been designed to provide you with items to help you find some meaningful, cozy Huguet moments. You may be asking exactly what is Huguet? Huguet is a Danish word meaning a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being. Simply put, it's when you're cozy and you feel good about it. You can use warm slippers, a hot cup of tea, or just a good meal to achieve Huguet. It's the feeling, not the cause, that's important. I love that. It says, we believe that Quality is always better than quantity, which is evident with the higher value of the products that we source. Amen. It says, included in the box are items which have been carefully curated to ensure you are receiving products that have not been mass manufactured and those made in Canada. It is important to us that we support as many Canadian businesses as we can and give back to the great country we live in. We also ensure that our products are as natural as possible, made with sustainability in mind, organic when available from ethical and fair trade sources, and ones made with love by the makers. So I truly appreciate that they allow me to be one of their U.S. Uh, influencers, unboxers. I really really appreciate it because this is this is one of those boxes this is always in my top five you guys always 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 all right let's go ahead and take a look at the awesome items that we got I'm just gonna prop this up in front of me and hopefully my eyes will work and I'll be able to see what we've got let's talk about the item that was right on top we got a teeny tiny bit crunched so this is dulce pecan toffee crunch caramelized white chocolate toffee biscuit with pecans um yes that sounds amazing and it's in a resealable package but let's be honest I'm probably gonna eat all of it all in one sitting um, just because that's me let's see it does say how many serving sizes I think that there are hmm how many servings does it say does it say I'm not sure maybe maybe five it, okay so <laughs> let's let's talk about what this is so this is out of Burlington, Ontario. It says, Hugo wouldn't be the same without a sweet treat. Sweet things happened when an artist baker, let me show you the package a little bit closer so you can see, Christy and a passionate chocolatier Bernhard fell in love that in 2002 established Christie's Gourmet, a family-run chocolate and sweets boutique located in Burlington. It was founded on family traditions and recipes with all products being lovingly created in small batches to maintain their artisanal quality. Each bite will keep you coming back for more. Now, normally I'm not like a huge pecan fan but like toffee and crunchy and sweet and delicious with a nice cup of tea and a good book amen I'm I'm all down for that so let me go ahead and pull something else there's so many things in here my goodness and they have tetris it all in perfectly I am so excited about these cozy socks so now I will say so I chat with them occasionally over on Instagram uh, that they had various colors and I did see some of them over on their spoilers and I was like can I get the not pink ones? That was like my only loose stipulation. I was like, can I get the not pink ones? And they were kind enough to say like, well, we'll see what we can do. I was like, you know, gray, black, my, my colors, a little stripe of red, I'm down with that. And they were kind enough to get me the perfect cozy socks. I love that it has this like kind of closure on the back. So let me see if I can open it up. It reminds me of like a fancy file folder. Oh, look at these, you guys, these are so awesome. It is still cold enough for me here. Wow, these are nice and thick. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. <laughs> they're tied together. Look, they're tied together with a little string so you don't lose them. How cute. They're, look how thick and wooly and warm they are. Let me find where these are on here so I can read them about them to you. This is from a company called Fazel out of British Columbia. I love these. It says Fazel products help support orphaned and destitute children in India with food, shelter, education, and clothing. What's more, they give fair trade wages to women in need who hand make every item. Handmade in the Himalayas by Happy ladies all patterns are indigenous to the local people and these designs are passed from mother to daughter made from vegan wool and perfect on a cold winter day um that is amazing so i wouldn't think that they were like made in india because not many places i feel like well i guess in the himalayas or the himalayas you would have reason to wear some warm weather clothing actually when i was in north india like years ago over new year's like it was cold <laughs> i was cold so um i love those i'm totally gonna wear these around the house I'm very excited about it oh goodness you guys we have something oh this is look at how pretty the packaging is just everything is so perfect I wish I could fit it all back in exactly right so this is from Mimi and August what a cute name it is from Montreal or Montreal Quebec let me see if I can get into this this is it sealed for some reason you guys know how I am with these like tab closures so let's see this is a 
reusable candle. We love a reusable candle. I'm guessing by reusable candle, they mean that the vessel is reusable. So it says, pleasantly scented candle to the perfect coffee cup. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love stuff like this. You know I love a candle. So it says, this is a candle that literally smells like a campfire. It's the perfect candle made for your evenings around a campfire and your winter evenings. Okay, so, oh my goodness, how cool is this? Look at this. It looks like an old school, like like the kind of um, candle holder that you would use like when you're wearing your like nightgown and nightcap, right? Um, so it says, since the beginning, Mimi and August have valued attention to small details and fair production, which is why they work with small factories that enable economic development and sustainable job creation. They inspect each factory in person to make sure the employees work decent hours, that they are paid for fair wages, and that there is no child labor. Made from organic soy wax, it is the perfect reusable candle. Its container can be used as a mug for your favorite beverages or simply as an everyday object. Um, I love the simplicity of this ceramic glaze. So yeah, it just says bonfire. So it says this the notes here. It is cedar, vanilla, and smoke. Oh, it, wow, it really does smell like camp, like a campfire, but not like the point where you're like, open the doors. Like it smells, it smells like you're out in the woods and you could just have your like cozy little mug. I love this, this is so great. You could put a little plant in there too if you wanted to and not use it as a mug because I don't have any more room on my mug shelf right now, but I could totally see myself putting a succulent in there until I kill it. <laughs> And then I will reuse it once again. So wow, what a great item. And it came in such a cute little box and everything. So as usual, they're knocking it out of the park because that is what they do at Hugo in a Box. So let me just put this off to the side because this is the bonus item for subscribers. Then we also have... Ooh, a little self-care here. We have a three ships lip treatment kit. I have actually gotten this once upon a time back when All True was Cosbox and things were good. Um, this is a great little kit. I love this. So I didn't realize they were a Canadian company. So it's out of Toronto. It says, man, I am trying to come visit you, Toronto, to see a Blue Jays game. And it is just so expensive to get there this year. So if anybody knows any tricks to get me there, I guess it's because I want to go in the summer and like see Niagara. I was thinking of flying into Buffalo, but it's been a while since I've been to Canada. And I gotta go visit my neighbors in the north. It says sometimes applying lip balm isn't enough when your dry winter flaky lips won't budge. So, uh, so three ships created a two-pronged approach. Let me talk about a two-pronged approach of opening this package up. It says first use the vanilla lip exfoliator to get rid of old dead skin. Next follow up with the buttercream hydrating lip mask to encourage cell growth for plump luscious lips that know how to take on hydration. All right, there we go. Three Ships is certified B Corp. They meet high standards of social and environmental performance, accountability, and transparency. Man, I love reading the descriptions of these companies because you can tell that they have been selected with such care by Jill and Lisa to make sure that they are all very ethical. A lot of them have give back stories. It just makes opening a box like this feels so much more special because you're gonna love and be able to use the products, but also know about these companies that you can support in the future. Um, and it just is kind of a feel good Hugo vibe, right? Because you can feel good about, you know, we are, all have a budget right now, but spending that limited budget on a great box like this is so wonderful. So we have our vanilla exfoliator right here, and then we have our lip masks so that you can make those lips nice and plump and they come in these kind of frosted glass jars. So very nice little, uh, nice little pairing, I guess. So let me put that off to the side. We still have more, of course. Oh goodness, another crushed package, but it's such a pretty one. So this says Souk, uh, it's Mocha. It says number three Mocha, Fabrique à Montréal, Quebec. Uh, so I'm guessing it's some hot cocoa. That's what my guess is. So let's go ahead and read about it. So yes, this is, uh, Hige is like cocoa by candlelight. And for Catherine Durand, a singer songwriter and the founder of Souk, it's all about the cocoa. For her, it is the story of a girl who didn't like coffee but loved chocolate. All soup blends are made with the highest quality ingredients, very Kaibo Swiss chocolate, Dutch cocoa powder, organic cane sugar, and organic spices, no chemicals, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, only natural ingredients. So we got two sweet treats in this box, you guys, between this amazing pecan toffee crunch and some hot cocoa, which are perfect for the winter. Everything so far, perfect for a winter box. They are very seasonal, very on theme. 
And then we still have a couple more items. Ooh, speaking of uh, me walking around my house with those cozy socks on, we got a book. Now, every once in a while, we do get a book from Hugh in a Box. I'd say maybe like once or twice a year in the quarterly boxes. We've gotten like a fun summer read. This time, this looks like a good winter read. So let's see what it says about this. This is a cozy winter thriller, The Overnight Guest by Heller Goodenkoff. Uh, it says she thought she was alone. True crime writer Wiley Lark doesn't mind being snowed in at the isolated farmhouse where she's retreated to write her new book. A cozy fire, complete silence. It would be perfect if not for the fact that decades earlier at this very house, two people were murdered. Dun, dun, dun. It says this book won't disappoint and was a Goodreads Choice Award nominee for Mystery and Thriller in 2022. Now that means those of you who get a lot of book boxes, you may have already read this because it was so highly rated, but I love that for those of you who don't necessarily read that often, we got one that has uh, already been tested and approved. So that is perfect. Love that. I haven't actually gotten that in any of my many book boxes. Oh, this is cute. What is this? It's from Peach and Poppy Seed. Oh, it's like a little bookmark. It's like a giant um, macrame paperclip, essentially. So let me see what it says about this. It says, this jumbo paperclip macrame bookmark, I just said it in different order, makes the perfect Huget accessory for any book lover. So it goes with our book. See how everything goes together? They're amazing. It says, made with recycled cotton cord, it is also sustainable. The maker lives in Manitoba with her husband and three children. She has turned her creative outlet into to a part-time business. We love to hear that. Selling accessories and decor. By supporting her business, we help to support parents of pregnancy and infant loss, a cause we hold close to our hearts. I love their give back stories too and all of the things they're doing. They're doing so many cool things at Huguenin Box, you guys. It is not just a subscription box. It is it is so much more. So of course they have an online shop. They're also doing retreats. They do workshops. I just think what they're doing is really beautiful. And this is a really nice and easy way to sort of walk into the world of Huguet in a Box, right? So, or Huguet Canada is kind of the overarching umbrella. So look how cute that goes together. I love this really pretty teal color. So that is everything that was in the regular quarterly box. We got our reading socks. I love that they call them reading socks. We got our macrame bookmark to go along with our good winter read, winter thriller. We got our three ships lip treatment kit. Of course, we got our two delicious treats with our uh, hot cocoa and our pecan toffee crunch and then finally and not last but not least we got our reusable bonfire candle slash mug slash candle vessel and then eventually plant vessel for me and then finally our bonus item for subscribers again you guys it's totally worth it to be a subscriber uh, is very cool because it goes along with one of the other items in here to create that whole Hugo Liggy evening in at home. We have this matchstick holder. I think this is so cool. It's got this really organic feel to it. I, it's very light though if it's actually ceramic. And then we got these nice long matches. I love when we get matches with our candles. And these are nice long chunky ones. So it says this is from Mimi and August again. So Ta -da. <laughs> it says this is their ceramic match pot. Why hide your matches in a drawer when you can display them as beautifully as you do with your candles? Keep your matches within striking distance ha, 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 with this modern ceramic match striker. It says keep your matches on hand and store them in this handy little pot. It is the perfect decor to accompany your favorite candles. The bottom of the match pot is affixed with a striker pad. Of course, yes, for the ultimate convenience and can be refilled with standard size matches. While this match pot is decorative, it is also very multifunctional. Think mini vase, incense holder, toothpick holder, Q-tip holder. Oh, that'd be really cute as a Q-tip holder. But you guys know I have candles in all the rooms of my house and I love having my matches nice and out and displayed and ready to go. So love that they paired that together. I mean, why wouldn't you subscribe and then get this beautiful little extra? And they didn't just give us the little vessel, they gave us the matches too, which I thought was really, really nice. So as usual, a very cohesive, very seasonal, very beautiful, intentional box from Hugh Get in a Box. I, I love this subscription, you guys. This is this is really hitting all the marks for me for a winter box. But you guys let me know what you thought in the description box, in the description box, in the comments below. Those are down below as well. You let me know what your favorite item was, how you kind of create, how you engineer the perfect Hugo League evening socks, candle, crunchies, good book. 
this is awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Definitely, definitely make sure that you are in on the next box because I know sometimes we kind of think of of spring and summer not necessarily being as hugelig as uh, winter and fall, but these gals do a great job of creating Huga in our lives in all of our spaces year round. So I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you are in on the next box with me. Maybe we can unbox it together. See you soon.